right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Leon Edwards and Nate Diaz. All right, get out your 209 tattoos, folks. Here he is, Nate Diaz, one of the biggest superstars in all of mixed martial arts. It's amazing to think where he could have taken his star power if he was in a regular cycle competing yes. every three months. Yes, if he fought as regularly as most guys, his star power would, would be even bigger. But Nate Diaz moves at his own pace. A phenomenal striker and a great jujitsu tactician. You fall into Nate Diaz's guard, you will get submitted as he's shown on a number of occasions, a fantastic fighter. Welcome back, Nate Diaz. You're not gonna out-cardio these Diaz brothers. You're not gonna out-tough Nate Diaz. And once again, he is facing top competition here tonight. We'll see how it goes for Nate Diaz here in his UFC return. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting and out of the blue corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 21 wins, 12 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Stockton, California. Ladies and gentlemen, he is an ultimate fighter season winner, Nate! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Leon Rocky Edwards. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. the boxer of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, Nate Diaz, making another UFC start tonight. And this is a hard guy to get out of there. Without a two by four or some sort of weapon, it's gonna take a very special performance to try to finish Nate Diaz tonight. Able to check that kick as well. All right, here we go, early round one. Gonna be very interesting to see how long this fight stays upright, given the fact that he is so good with his ground game and submissions. He has to try to find a way to get to the mat. Even if he just drives the takedown just to fall back to his back and start a grappling exchange. This is where he needs to be. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down. Oh, now. he might be out. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. Like he might have landed there instead. A swing and a miss by Diaz. 
blocks the shot. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, beautiful jab there from Leon Edwards. And if you don't know the name Leon Edwards, you're going to start to hear his name increasing. He's truly one of the better fighters in this match. Absolutely. And the reason you don't know his name is because he's more of a quiet guy. He's very reserved. He used to be at AKA for months, and you barely knew that Rocky was even there. He was just there to get his work done, as he's doing his work now inside the octagon. So just over 20 total strikes. It now landed for Leon Rocky Edwards. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Right hand upstairs. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Left hand punches the clinch. Now connects with a right. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. Wow, huge head kick. Nice shot to the body there. Big kick lands. That is a hard left hand that lands for Leon Edwards. And as usual, DC, letting his fighting do the talking today. Letting his fighting do the talking, and he's all business. He, he's a businessman. He's all, oh, that was a big kick. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, nice. A top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Side control now able to isolate the left arm, and this could be the beginning of the end, DC. He isolated that Kimura. Look for him to step over with his left knee, lift his opponent onto his side to try to get the angle to finish the submission. Brilliant submission defense there. His lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Gets up again here, but hurting. Nice punch here. Big roundhouse now, just misses. He blocks the punch. Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Winded up on the right there to no avail. Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it. Right. And your night can be over. Or you get it up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue? Here's a tissue. There's no kill on that leg kick. Great punch. Right, so that's the end of the round. That cut on the nose, manageable earlier, not so much right now. Really, really bad. The blood flow continuing to become a factor, and you got to think at some point, if it gets any worse, they will have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, here we go with the start of round two. Leon Edwards versus Nate Diaz. Oh, effective strike there by Diaz. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Nice hook. Jab hurt him a little bit. 
Oh, beautiful strike in there by Leon Edwards. He has really become a well-rounded welterweight. You saw in the Gunnar Nelson fight how good his wrestling defense was. Leon Edwards is a real problem this year. Missed with that right hand. 60 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. Accuracy rate has dipped a little bit. 39% now on the connections against Leon Edwards. Trying to get the knees going. Ooh, head kick lands hurt. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Keep moving. Protect your face, hands up. Just misses with the right. Nice punch by Edwards. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Right idea, wrong execution. No good on the left punch count. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big head kick. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slap. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Great punch, landed with so much power. He lands a switch kick. Switch the guard, lands the right hand. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He loaded up there on that high kick. So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice punch there by Evans. Oh, punches and bunches as usual from the Stockton, California native Nate Diaz. Looks pretty sharp here, DC. Just missed on the front kick there. And the takedown attempt. But he does not land it. Right hand on point. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Edwards gets up, but the question is for how long. He looks wobbly. Oh, what a punch. Edwards' kick is what? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Right hand upstairs. Eats another right hand. Nice. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Single collar tie now. Diaz gets caught with that push. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Misses again with a right punch. Two rounds in the books. All right, so the round mercifully comes to an end, and how about the cut on his lip? Really, really bad. If that thing gets any worse, they're going to certainly have to stop this fight. The doctor looks like he's already going to be called in here. All right, so there's the end of the round, and... On one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Ready? Ready? Third round underway. 
Jones. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big punch lands for the middle. Oh, huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish the fight. Oh, he might be out. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, collar tie. Well, this is a fighter who can go all day. 127 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz. for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that's... Wow! Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the wow. strikes that are coming at him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh! All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Now looking to do something with that left arm. He's isolating the Kimura attack. Notice he'll pick up his left leg, step over the head to get his opponent on his hip. Once he gets him on his side, he'll start to apply pressure to try to get the finish. in the fight. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock, and if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He's going for the choke. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Oh, now he's in trouble. Wow. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure. Oh! Let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 48 seconds of round number three. Going the winner by knockout, Nate Diaz. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout.
He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.